I chose this poem that I did today. Um, I don't really have a name for it. It's kind of like maybe The Hunter. Um, I chose it because uh, I had a conversation with my mother today about how she was basically kind of schooling me on how um, the how too much um, just in the alright so basically don't be too hard as a woman alright the generations before us were too soft so then my mother's generation was like well, I'm not gonna be that way you know I'm not gonna just have kids like I'm gonna be a strong woman whatever and so she was passing on to me like it's important to remember that you're both and you don't just have to be metal um, you are a woman so what I'm made of pressed metal, the folding of a thousand voices and wings and hands in laughs politely and dreams for centuries, the swallowing, the swallowing of tar and chalk and dust, the feathers we cough up, the wanting to scream, the no one to scream to, the empty shells of our imaginary friends, the men we once knew who turned their faces into backs of heads, who slipped so easily into forests of nights, whose presence convinced us that we were not queens. My God, it has happened to all of us. My sister has thrown it behind her like the wind she sifts through, though her face cannot make the same angles as she once could when her edges were ethereal, and no boy could imagine touching her, let alone leaving her at a high school dance. And my mother smuggles diamonds so bad that you cannot for one second imagine her without turquoise dripping from the corners of her eyes and emeralds spilling from her clumsy teeth. You cannot for one second ignore the dark moths that live and flutter under her cheekbones and the birch bark backs of her hands and her tree ring eyes. You cannot for one second even think of her as human unless you are my father and you're used to looking at her that way and her never reaching back. And she tells me, make sure he knows about the letters I wrote him after Colorado and the other woman and the intentions I will never open. I burn them like birch bark. Eden, read his letters. Don't let him leave you at the edge of the cliff. Don't dig your heels like I did. Blissfully listen to the wind and tell him all the things that I couldn't, what I still can't. Don't be metal throat folding into yesterday, what I meant to say, what I thought I felt. Cry often. Open up your throat in the canal I have dug for you, woman. I know we've been warriors. It's been the only way we could have made it out alive. But don't think your shoulders need to be spears. Don't think your Heart isn't soft and beating for a reason. These men have touched us and we've curled back like ferns, but don't let them get the best of us. Don't let, don't think you need to be shoulders and backs of heads like them. Show them your soft face and the delicate flesh that you're made of in the front. You are the belly of a snake. You are petals and pussy and breasts and flesh. This, this is what you're made of. I'm traveling. <laughs>